Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Hit the subscribe button and click on the bell icon to get notification instantly. Hey hi everyone, this is Mukesh Otwani once again from learn-automation.com. Today in this video, we'll see how to debug Java programs. Okay, so I have written Java uh, slash Selenium because Selenium, which we are going to use now, will be pure based on Java bindings. So that is the title. So let's see what exactly we will cover in this video. So we'll see what exactly is debugging in Java, why it is required and how to debug your code. So first of all, what is debugging? So as the name says, we have to debug our code. So debugging will help you to run your program in the interactive mode. When I say interactive mode, you can watch the source code and the variables while execution itself. Okay. So what value uh, which variable is holding so you can see everything in the debug perspective or in the debug mode okay so debugging will help you to rectify the so many things uh, at runtime itself so that is the main reason why we are doing debugging so let's say if you're getting some null pointer exception or some other exceptions which are not able to rectify you can debug your code okay using eclipse and you can see where exactly your code went wrong Developers sometimes use this to identify the uh, dead code or uh, some variables which are not getting used but still taking some memory. So it is useful for developers, okay? But for testers also it is required because whenever you can, uh, when you find some exception, you can easily rectify using debugging mode. And whenever you have to see the execution flow, like how the flow is working, what exactly the code is doing, you can check using debug okay so how to do it so we need to do the breakpoint okay uh, one more thing this is opposite f6 to execute the current statement and f5 is for uh, step into okay so you can change it by mistake i have written opposite so f5 we will use to step into the method and then execute the statement and F6 we will use to execute the current statement. So what do I mean by F5 access? We will see in the direct code, but uh, we will use the breakpoint to stop the execution at that particular statement. Okay. To simplify, I already have the demo ready. So I have demo one. Okay. In this demo one, I have two test cases. One test case which simply start the browser, capture the title, and simply verify a couple of things and test to simply close the browser now let's say if i need to verify or i need to debug this code okay so i will add one debug point here but before adding the debug point let's right click run this program as usual and see what exception it is throwing so when i see right click run is test in your test okay you can see it is throwing okay it is some um, one minute I don't have the driver at this particular location so it was failing I can see execution is started it will simply do the processing okay and right now it is failing okay and if I will show you one small change which we need to do in our code. Okay, now if I right click run as test in your test. So this error or this mistake everyone almost like if you are a beginner you will do this mistake almost every time. What is mistake here? You can see here we have one variable. Okay, you can see not as failed. Test 1 passed and test 2 failed. And why test 2 fail? It is throwing null pointer exception. And if you see here, it is failing at line number 32. When I put, when I double click that particular statement, it says at this particular point, we are getting null pointer. Why we are getting null pointer? We will see. If you see, we have one web driver driver here and web driver driver here. This is actually a local variable. So the scope of this driver is still this method only. So you cannot access this driver outside this method. But if you see this driver, this driver is actually coming from the global variable which is on top. And uh, since we cannot use this driver, so 
test 2 is taking driver from this particular driver which is a global variable and right now it is not assigned to anything so it is pointing to null so when try uh, test 2 is trying to run it says null dot quit so definitely it will throw null pointer exception so if you want to debug this program what you will do just right click on this line which you want to debug actually want to debug directly this line but let's debug from the starting and right click debug as test in it is do not forget whenever you add the breakpoint you always have to run as a debug test then only you will get the debugging perspective okay so whenever i run as debug as test in it is you will see the complete ui change why because it is coming to a different perspective previously it was in the java perspective as soon as you will run as debug mode it will come to debug perspective and you will see window like this here you will see the debug uh, like how exactly it is doing this debug here you will see the break uh, variables and the breakpoints so as of now i have two breakpoints plus this is the variable right now which i have so let's execute one by one i can use this f5 and f6 or else you can see this one here we have this button directly so when i say step over it is executing the next step it executed this and now this is highlighting so it will execute this current step when i say f6 so when i say f6 now you can see it is executing my current statement and uh, it started correct now you can see now this driver have some value because this driver is holding some value it says chrome on mac this is the session id and if you see the desired capability of this driver is all these details okay. it also has some other details which is not required for us so when i say driver.get when i execute this it will pass the url okay so let it run okay, you can see when i say driver dot get title now it will capture the title and it will store into variable and you can see we got the title here selenium web driver tutorial step by step and in the next step we are checking if title contains selenium it will return true so definitely it contains it will return me true and you can see at you can see right trying time it is giving this value so it is very easy for you to identify right now you can see when it came to the next statement it failed because of the null pointer now if you want to see only with that set uh, that particular statement just go ahead and put one breakpoint at line number 32 and debug as test and test again okay it will take some time and now you can see control stopped here if you put mouse over driver is pointing to null okay so definitely it will throw null pointer exception so you can fix this how to fix this you can just remove this local variable so that now this driver will focus on the global variable why it is global which is uh, because it is outside the method so now both the tests will use the same driver and you will not get any exception you will also see two button one is your resume and one is your terminate i will click on terminate to terminate the current session this is one example where we have to do step over in the next example i will show you one program where we have small library what this library does it simply simply prints this statement it will do the send keys and again it will print something so when i add one debug point here when i right click run as or debug as test and test or since it's a java program uh, because we're using main method it is showing debug as java application so let's debug
okay so you can see now control stopped here when I say F6 it will immediately execute and it will throw exception but it is not going inside the method it is simply executing that method and it is showing no such element exception so it is tough for us to identify what exactly is wrong with this method okay in order to see inside this method again do the right click debug as java application this time we will say step into so when you say step over it will get, uh, immediately execute the complete statement and it will go to the next line but if you see this step into it will go inside this method okay which is this and now it tries to execute okay so it, you can see it printed now it will fail because i am i am passing id but here i am using xpass so definitely it's gonna fail but the main motto of this example is just to show you whenever you have to go inside this method always use the step into okay now definitely when you execute it will fail and if you resume the complete code you will see no such element and if you want to see at which line it failed you can see the exception has started from demo 2 class line number 17 and where it failed it failed actually at helper dot java line number 14 which is this okay so you can use this debugging uh, features of eclipse whenever you see some exceptions which you're not able to rectify easily just debug your code and you will understand okay so that's all i have for this video so if you like this video and if you think if it is helpful you can share with your friends and colleagues and if you have any doubt feel free to contact me at learn have an automation.com okay so we'll see you in the next video have a nice day bye bye